Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, so this is just a little update vlog to show you uh, little Isaac Mutin, the new fur baby of our house. Here he is. Say hello. Don't be rude, say hello to everybody. Oh, hi everybody. Good boy. He has been a very good boy. That is Isaac Newton. He's got a lot of play stuff out, which he loves. And he's a very good kitty, to be honest. He's been very, very good. He's got a few little things that he's been doing that's, I don't know. Yesterday he was on one. So he's got this thing with the kitchen sink. There's like a little plug filter. I don't know what it's called. That little thing that you put in the plug to stop food going down your drain. That's like a round thing. He's, he's obsessed with it. So every time I walk past the kitchen, all I hear is because he's got it and he's bashing it from side. He's literally in the sink, bashing it from side to side in the sink. I'm like, will you bloody stop that? Oh, it's driving me insane. So I've had to lock that away. Then his food came because I ordered a massive bag of food, 30 litres I think it was, massive bag of food came and he was going mental for it and in the hallway there's a cupboard so I put it in the cupboard and the cupboard doesn't lock properly so he's got into the cupboard and I woke up yesterday morning to him scratching the bag and opening it to get all the food out <laughs> and I had to I put something against the door to lock the door. So then because he couldn't get into the door, he scratched all the carpet in front of the door to try and dig his way under the door. So then I had to move it again. So I put it in the spare room um, and lock the door. So then he's digging, trying to dig his way under the spare room door. So he's digged under the carpet. Well, he hasn't really done much, but he was digging at the carpet, pulled it up a little bit um, to get into the spare room to get it because he knew it was in there. So I, I went and locked myself in there left him outside and I've put it in the wardrobe that's in the spare room and he hasn't worked out where it is yet because he hasn't seen where it is thankfully he's been all right the next thing he does he's obsessed with food I don't know if it's because he was a stray before and he's used to searching and hunting for food but literally you'll put his food down he will stop what he's eating if you've got something to eat he wants your food he launches himself at you to get your food um he is getting better at that though. Um, we've had him two weeks now and the past week he's been okay. Like we've been really strict with him and not giving him any food, not giving him any um, like bits off the plate or anything like that. We've been really, really strict with him um, to help it. And he has got better. He still begs for food, but not as bad. He is learning. The next thing he does is I bought him a really nice, really nice, comfy, fluffy bed that he could sink into, thought he was gonna love it. Does he wanna sleep on it? Has he hell slept on that bed? He won't use it. I've tried putting him in it. I've been like, just use your bed. I've tried putting him in it. And he just walks back off and looks at me like I'm something stupid. But he'll sleep in a paper bag. We had like a big paper bag. I'll put the picture here. He'll sleep in that. He won't sleep in his comfy bed I bought him. What a twerp. Like, <laughs> it's just, he's just such a character. It's, he's hilarious. But the good things about him, he absolutely loves cuddles. He loves attention. He will come and sit on your lap. He will, he'll panic in the middle of the night, I think. This is what I think happens anyway. You don't see him, he'll just disappear. And then suddenly at some point in the night, normally about three or four o'clock in the morning, it's almost as if he's like, oh my God, I don't know where everybody is. Is everybody okay? And he'll jump on the bed and he'll come and he'll, he'll like nudge you in the head and he'll lick your face to make sure that you're okay and you're awake. So then you'll be half asleep and you'll stroke him and he'll settle down, he'll, he'll curl up next to you and go to sleep. I think it's because he misses us and he just, he doesn't know where we are and suddenly he's remembered, okay, people are in a different room and he goes and checks on you. That's what I'd like to think. I'd like to think he's caring for us. Another funny thing he does, he will go for a poo and then he will come and meow at you until you clean it up because he doesn't want that in his litter tray. He will come and he'll be like, meow, meow. And he'll be like, what is wrong with you? And then you go and you check his litter tray. It's because he's just had a poo and he wants you to clean it up. <laughs> Another thing he does, he knows the sound of his laser pen box. I'm gonna try and video this so you can see. Can you see him from there? I don't know, but just wait for it. He's down here. 
<laughs> Straight away. What's that, Mum? What are we going to do? <laughs> and then he does this. He looks around for it. He'll look at you and then he'll look around. Go find it then. <laughs> he'll go, I haven't even switched it on. There you go. There you go. And then um, he just knows the sound of the tin. So if he's in another room, he'll come flying into the room. I'm going to have to play with him now. But yeah, how cute is he? So that is little Isaac Newton. He's about three years old, roughly. Like I said, he was a stray. He's got FIV, which is uh, the um, HIV for cats. So it's the cat version. So he's not allowed to go outdoors in case he infects other cats. Um, he's, he's got a reduced immune system as a result. So he's not allowed outside because he can obviously pick up all sorts and potentially die basically. Um, not to be dramatic or anything, um, but it could be that severe that if he picks something up, he could potentially die because of his FIV. Um, he's on a strict diet because he's more prone to gastro problems and stuff like that. So he's got to have a dry food diet. He did have specialised food for a while because he had problems with his bowels at one point, but actually he's okay now. So he's back onto just normal dried food. Um, and that's why we're quite strict with his feet feeding him off our plates and things like that, just because we don't want anything happening to him. It's for his own good. It's got to be cruel to be kind, like they say. Um, and even treats, like we'll give him a couple of little treats here and there, like ca proper cat treats. Um, but it's not every day and it's not all the time, stuff like that, just to protect his stomach and just make sure he's all right. We've got to check his mouth um, regularly as well. If he's got any signs of ulcers or cuts or anything like that in his mouth, that's normally an indicator that he's going to have a flare up of his FIV and he needs antibiotics. So little things like that, but he's really healthy. He's not had any problems. He's not got any other conditions or anything like that. You wouldn't even know he had it. It's just that he's got it on his record. So we just need to be more mindful of little things and make sure he has the best life possible. Um, Another thing, it's not going to shorten his life by just from reading around it. It's not going to shorten his life or anything like that. They can live long, happy lives with FIV. It's just about, like I was talking about, just checking his mouth and making sure he's healthy, make sure he's not getting any infections and stuff like that. That's going to put him at risk. So he's going to be all right, I think. But he's just amazing. It's like he's always been here. The minute we brought him home, because they said you should keep him in one room to sort of settle him in and settle him in slowly. He didn't want to stay in another room. We opened his box and he was flied out. He was mooching around everywhere. He was getting in everything. He wanted to see everybody. He was coming up for cuddles and stuff. He was amazing. He did have a thing where um, when we first brought him home, like the first two days, he wouldn't leave any of our sides. He would constantly follow us. If I was going to the toilet, he had to go and follow. If George went to the toilet or something, he would chase after George. Like he needed to be next to you 24 seven and he slept next to us for the first two nights. Um, but now he's settled, um, he, he doesn't care. Like he just sleeps on his, this is a little hammock. Sorry about the mess. He's got a little window hammock that he sleeps on and the sun comes through that normally in the afternoon when it's sunny. And um, he just bathes in the sun on his little hammock, like, he's so cute. Um, but he's proper chilled, he's playing, he's pretty awesome, to be honest. He's a little twerp sometimes, like I said, but overall, he's very cute. And it's, it's hard not to love him. I'm pretty sure I've just heard him opening a door. This should be interesting, hang on. Let's see what the hell he's up to. Oh, you're in the spare room, are you? What? Look, this is what he did. Trying to get in to get his food. Have you found it? I hope not. Has he? No, he hasn't been scratching at that door. He's all right. He was just checking because he remembered that's the last place it was. Good boy. <laughs> Let's see if he'll chase me down the corridor. Sometimes he chases me down the corridor. <laughs> oh, Isaac! Didn't chase me that time. The other day, when he was on one, actually it was yesterday, when he was on one, I literally, he, he tried to attack my feet at the other end of the corridor. And then 
I ran down the corridor. He launched himself. He ran so fast down the corridor. It literally tripped me over and attacked my leg. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you a little update of Isaac and who he is and how he's getting on and stuff like that. He's very, very cute. If anyone's got any tips, advice, help with cats, let me know because this is new to me. I've never really had a cat before, uh, just dogs. So yeah, let me know in the comments and I hope you're all having an amazing week.